Hi. How's everybody? It is Saturday, and I thought I've been working on, um, oh, let me share this to a couple groups. Just a sec. I've been working on um, a inexpensive, I guess you could call it, um, keto, let's say $10 or less. And um, this recipe came up from when I did it before. And so I've done this recipe once before, but I use tuna and they're called tuna melts. So this time I just use um, salmon. So I am doing a series, I'm gonna do like a whole week of $10 or less. So hi, how are you guys? And so this is one of them that I will use and maybe I'll read cook it, but for sure I'll include this recipe because it's very inexpensive and easy and delicious. So um, I buy the canned salmon at Costco and it's the pink salmon. It's wild. You always want to make sure you get wild. Don't get farmed. Um, boneless and skinless. So it comes in like a six pack. But my plan is to break it down for you guys to tell you how much each meal costs because a lot of people have said, you know, um, keto's too expensive and blah, blah, blah. So I have a live planned for tomorrow to kind of explain um, different ways to do keto low carb on a budget. And, um, and then I'm going to cook for like, I don't know, 10 recipes or so of different things that I have come up with that are inexpensive. So but still good, you know, that's important. <laughs> All right, so super, super easy. I dumped the can, um, I'm gonna do half. I did half earlier and cooked them off because they take like 20 minutes. So, um, and then I'm gonna do half right now. So like I said, the pink salmon, and you can also use tuna, it's the same exact recipe. I attached the recipe above. And um, then we're gonna use mayonnaise. Oh, I forgot an egg, just a second. Well, and like I said, this recipe will be doubled. So, um, I like this mayonnaise. Again, this came from Costco, and it's avocado oil mayonnaise. So it's a little bit better than just you know like a just a fatty mayonnaise. This one's a little bit cleaner, if you will. So mayonnaise, sour cream. And I'm not measuring because I know what the measurements are. Aw, hi Brandy, thank you so much. Um, a quarter, half a cup of cheese. It actually calls for a cup, of course. One egg, so easy. And then salt. We've talked before, always pink Himalayan salt in everything. Is there a way you can turn on closed caption for this video? Gosh, I don't even know that. Do I have that technology? <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> and then pepper. I'll have to look into that, Kelly. I have never heard of that before. That's a new one on me. Salt and pepper, pink Himalayan salt, minerals, electrolytes, all goodness. I carry it in my car. If I get drowsy, I put it under my tongue. If I get a headache, put it under my tongue, gone. Um, parsley, I'm gonna use dried parsley, but this recipe would be really good with some fresh parsley in it. I just don't have any, so. This kind of came up on the fly. Hi, Jennifer, I can't wait to see you, dear. Hi, Jamie. Um, red pepper flakes, and I don't put a ton in because they sometimes get a little hot. That's it. That's, see how easy that is? So we're gonna just mix this all up and put it in our muffin pan. And you could do different things. You could put relish, you could put pickles. Totally doctor it up. Capers would be really good. Um, I'm not big on, I, you know, when I cook for you guys, I try to follow the recipes that I put on here, but definitely when I'm cooking by myself, I just go crazy. <laughs> So, you just want to break up that tuna or, in this case, salmon. Real good. You could do chicken in this. I buy the canned chicken there as well. Just nice to have it back in your pantry 
Because like tonight I didn't know what I was gonna cook for dinner. And I was like, oh, those tuna melts are really good and easy. And I have salmon, let's do that. So, and then I thought I'd come live. If you guys are interested in that series, so like I said, you always have such good recipes, thank you. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a series of $10 or less meals. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, and then if you're not already on my text line, let me know because I can, I'll um, caption it $10 or less and you can get a text right before I go live, okay? So I'm using this uh, muffin pan. As you can see, those four were already cooked. And I'm gonna spray it. I really um, like this avocado spray. Works really good. Kind of comes out funky. It like, see how it kind of sprays funny? Um, so it made four last time, so I'm assuming it'll make four again. And then I put a tiny little bit of cheese on top just to kind of give it a little crust, if you will. And that's it, you just, but you could make it in a loaf pan if you wanted. You could make it in the little uh, muffin pans. I have one of those down there too, which make good little treats, but it, you could do it with these. These would be something that, you know, I talk a little bit about meal prepping. This would be something you could prep and freeze and then just warm up, either in the microwave or on the stove top, back in the oven, whatever. A lot of people don't like the microwave, which I, I don't really care for it either. So if you didn't like the microwave, you could totally put them back in the oven. But that would be something good for lunches or snacks in the car, whatever. So I don't have any more cheese out, so I guess I just won't do that. So this is how they look. You just pop them in the oven for 20 minutes, okay? And what you're gonna wanna see is on the top, I'll show you actually. Okay. This is what they look like. Don't those look good? So good. And since they're salmon, you could put um, tartar sauce on them or whatever. They're super good cold. Um, so if you wanted to pre-make them, even in the little muffin pan, if you don't like the microwave, you haven't seen the awesome new product. From... <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to check it out, Sarah. Um, so these would be good cold, like I said, in someone's lunch or if you're on a road trip, whatever. These are the, the, the way to go. All right, so I'm gonna show you the inside before I take a bite. Just kinda looks like that. It's like a tuna melt, just no bread. But because you put egg and stuff in it, it kinda gives you the illusion of bread. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I made them with tuna last time. Salmon's better. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. And like I said, um, some tartar sauce or um, relish or pickles inside would be good. <clears throat> so good. Thanks, Jennifer. I appreciate that. If you guys aren't already following me, touch my nose, follow. I try to come live a couple days a week and cook some easy, affordable, I just want to show everybody how amazing keto and low carb is and it's really changed my world so I want to do the same. So if you guys want to follow me, that'd be great. And if you want to be on my text line, let me know. All right, that's it. It's that easy. So I'm going to start that series next week. I'm going to do a live on it tomorrow and just kind of sh tell you what I'm all thinking about, how I'm going to do it, all of that. And then I'll start the cooking probably Tuesday. Okay? Mm. Have a great Saturday, and I will see you tomorrow.